Alright, in this video, I'm going to show you every single add-on that you need for creating 3D characters inside of Blender. There are lots of add-ons out there and I won't be mentioning all of them. I'll just focus on only the add-ons that you'll probably be using in your next character modeling project. So let's start out with add-ons that you need for sculpting. There are surprisingly not many sculpting add-ons out there. But the one I use the most which is already inbuilt in Blender. I use this add-on mostly when I'm blocking out my characters in Blender. And that's the extra mesh add-on. When you enable this add-on in Blender, it gives you these objects that you can choose from and to really speed up the block out stage of sculpting. The object size the most from this add-on is the round cube option. And the round cube option also has customizable settings that you can play around with for different options. Another add-on to mention for sculpting is the sculpt layers add-on. And this add-on just changes the way you do approach sculpting different layers of details on your sculpt. This feature is something that already exists in softwares like ZBrush, Modbox and 3D Coats for using native to Blender. In this add-on, you can save the different stages of your sculpt progression and progressively sculpt and add details on each stage individually. Another add-on I would like to add for the sculpting category would be the Sculpt plus Paint Through add-on, which helps for easily navigating Blender sculpting brushes and settings. So this add-on just gives you a simple user interface that allows you to pick tools without having to navigate through all the brush panels. So this add-on will essentially just help you save a lot of time in the long run. Okay, now let's move on to add-ons for retopology. I made a video tutorial about retopology, and if you've watched that video, you can easily notice how tedious retopology can get. Add-ons like Retopo Flow, B Surfaces, and even the Polybuild tool in Blender will only save minimal amounts of time during the retopology process. We recently found an add-on that replaces the need for actually doing retopology, at least to a certain degree. The Octopo add-on is a magnificent add-on and you just need a few clicks and then your topology is ready to go. This add-on is honestly like the AI topology tool that we have all been looking for and the add-on is currently being updated to include the automatic topology for the body and once that happens, it's game over for a topology. A topology will come a thing of the past. When you use this add-on, the topology already comes UB unwrapped so you don't have to worry about UB unwrapping and to work for both stylish characters and both realistic characters. I'll leave a link in the description below this video so you can go check that out. The other add-ons like the double flow and the B surfaces add-on depending on which one you choose to use will still be useful in cases where you're doing custom topology like for a non-humanoid character and when you're also topologizing stuff like clothes and hard surface models and just other assets in general. Another honorable mention when it comes to retopology is the Quad Remesher add-on. The Quad Remesher is another automatic retopology add-on and in just one click, it will automatically topologize your mesh although you don't have control over the edge flow and the general topology of your mesh. Which is a really good add-on if you want to retopologize background objects but you don't just have enough time to complete a retopology from scratch. Moving on to add-ons for clothes, there are lots of them out there but my personal recommendation would be the Divine Cut add-on. This add-on is a smart cloth generator that gives you the option of creating complex clothing very easily with just a few clicks. With this add-on, you can actually get as detailed as possible for most clothing types. And one thing I like about this add-on is how accessible it makes cloth simulation in Blender. All the cloth physics and collision settings have already been dialed down, so once you're done creating your clothes with the add-on, you can go in and simulate them immediately. In addition to this, there's also the Divine Cut Accessory Pack, which comes with assets like belts, shoes, glasses, watches, and necklaces. Nicely, this is a huge time saver because modeling little accessories like this can really take up a lot of time. The Divine Cut add-on and the Divine Cut Accessory Pack add-on are always in constant development, and they actually just released a new update about the add-on at the time of recording this video. So without a doubt, it's a really good add-on that you should definitely add to your library. Alright, when it comes to UV unwrapping, there's an add-on I recently found that will do most of the things that you need when it comes to UV unwrapping your 3D crafters. The add-on is called Univ, that is U-N-I-V. And it's a really simple add-on that covers most of the operations that you need to carry out like stacking the UV island, relaxing UV island, straightening UVs which is a really useful one, 
and also quadrifying UV islands, which is just like making your UVs into a grid shape. And that will be really useful where you need to unwrap assets like shirts and trousers. So yeah, definitely go and download this one from the Blender extensions website. If you apply texturing in Blender, you know that texturing in Blender is not really as refined as it should be. So here are two add-ons you would definitely want to try out to make texturing your characters less painful in Blender. The first add-on is the Has Paint Layers. And not many people know about this add-on. This add-on will basically make texturing in Blender feel like painting in Photoshop. It has a lot of features and the key feature being that it has painting layers. This way you can actually go in and organize and manage multiple layers of your texture painting. And also on these individual layers, you can also add various filters like the levels filter, the curve adjustment filter, and even a blur filter. This feature alone is a huge step up from what Blender offers by default. In addition to that, it also makes baking textures so easy with the easy bake feature that is included in this add-on. Another massive feature is the quick edit feature where you could just crop parts of the image in Blender and it will open it up in a 2D software of your choice and then you can now paint the way you normally paint if you were working in Photoshop or in other 2D softwares. There are lots of other features I didn't even mention and the best part of this add-on is that it's completely free to download. You can find it in the Blender extensions website. The second add-on we'll take a look at is the Uku Paints add-on which is also another free add-on to manage texture layers for both working in EV and in the Cycles Render Engine. There are also lots of features in this add-on very similar to the Haspin Layers add-on, but this one has some unique features to it, such as the support of real-time displacement and vector displacement, the decal support, and a preview mode to check layers and color channels, and so much more. You can check out all the documentation so feel free to choose between the Hasbin layers or the Uku Paints add-on or you can actually use both of them to be honest, there are no rules. Proceeding your character after you're done texturing or while you're still texturing your character, one add-on to always have is the Node Wrangler add-on. Just want to make sure this is enabled inside of Blender because it gives you some functionality that will otherwise take a couple of minutes to set up on your own. To also save time when shading your characters, you can also use the Tiny Eye add-on. And again, this add-on is completely free to download. The Tiny Eye add-on is completely procedural and is an eye asset that works both in EV and in Cycles. It comes with a wide range of eye presets to choose from and you can also customize it to fit your character. If you want to pick up this add-on, you can get it on Gumroad and there's also proper documentation on how to use the eye and customize it to your liking. There's also another paid add-on similar to this one called the Auto Eye add-on which is both for realistic and stylized eye. It's also completely procedural and fully customizable. Another add-on to look out for when it comes to shading is the Simple Material Fashion Design add-on. With this add-on, you can easily create professional materials for a wide range of applications from fashion design to game-ready characters and everything in between that. It's a very simple and user-friendly option for shading clothes and fabrics of any kind inside of Blender because it will save you the time and the effort of doing it all from scratch. Let's move on to some add-ons for hair grooming. If you use curves a lot for creating hair for your characters, you can now easily turn those hair curves into hair particles with Danimax Hair Wrangler add-on. And the idea behind this add-on is being able to switch or convert Blender curves into Blender hair system in a really easy and user-friendly approach. So once you have your hair curves in place, you can switch them into hair particles and you can also still tweak them even after they have been switched into hair particles. So you can seamlessly switch between the curve geometry and the hair particles. It's really a powerful add-on if you love to work with curves for modeling the hair. Another add-on for hair grooming is the hair bricks add-on. This one is for those using the geometry nodes hair system. In this add-on to simply put it just makes the geometry node hair system easier to use with a really clean visual interface. It also adds more functionality to the default geometry node hair system, which would otherwise take a couple of minutes to figure out or to set up on your own. So definitely check this out if hair grooming is something that you do a lot in Blender using the geometry node hair system. And now we are going to take a look at some awesome add-ons for rigging. The first add-on which is already inbuilt in Blender is the Rigify add-on. You don't need to enable it from the add-ons menu. 
Spotify will give you various rig presets for both human and animals. And all you need to do from that point on is just to place the rig correctly on your character. It's easy enough to do, but it can get a bit tricky, especially when it's your first time using it. Borgify is a really good add-on and a great starting point for most persons. But then, if you want to skip the effort of having to place the bones on your crackers, then another add-on you should definitely use is the Auto Rig Pro add-on. And the Auto Rig Pro add-on will rig your crackers with just a few clicks, and you don't have to place bones around to find the correct order. It will automatically do that for you. And it also makes facial rigging so much easier inside of Blender. So yeah, if you don't enjoy rigging and painting with just like me, then it's definitely an add-on that you want to add to your library. And I also know that there are some add-ons that you guys use that have not been mentioned in this video, so you can drop them down in the comment section. In the description of this video, all the add-ons mentioned will be listed there, which way you can find them. Also, a link to some of the add-ons will also be included. I'll catch you guys in the next video.